I'm deeply saddened by this and I regret to inform you all, but I will no longer be Miss Moni. Two days before I was set to deliver my third baby, I got a DM from another content creator and their team letting me know that legally I would have to change my stage name. And the following is my real raw response to this news just days before I delivered my baby. It's really frustrating because it's my name, like it's it, it's my literal name. And all because of a legal document, I have to now recreate and find something to call myself that isn't myself. That's frustrating. It's always sad hearing stories like this because when you come to know and love a content creator and what they produce, especially if it is uplifting and edifying people that you know and love and your children, you want them to win. And that's why so many people have this great affection towards Miss Moni. And you feel like... This is my baby. And ain't nobody finna touch him. And I want to talk a little bit more about how we got to this point and how can this even be possible? Because many people are confused about how can a brand literally make you stop using your own name when it comes down to your business. Let's first talk about what a trademark is. A trademark is a word, a name, a logo, or a tagline that allows people, meaning your competitors, counterparts, your prospective clients and customers, to be able to identify your business and support you or purchase your products or follow you. And having a trademark gives you certain legal rights. And those rights are to stop other people from using the name and to be able to carve out in the marketplace how that name shows up. You have the right to stop people if you feel like they are infringing or coming too close to your name. So let's first talk about how we even got here in the first place. Now, if you're not familiar with Miss Moni, she is a beloved content creator who has grown an amazing following, massive following on Instagram in a very short time. Since she first posted her first Instagram video, which was in March of 2024 to October of 2024, she has gained over 191,000 followers. She creates content that speaks to the souls of preschools and toddlers, and this educational content uplifts them, inspires them, and makes them smile, as well as their parents too. And so recently, she received a cease and desist or she said a DM from another content creator who has the same name, asking her to stop using the name. And not just from that content creator, but also from her lawyer. Although Miss Moni did not say who the content creator was that sent her a cease and desist, and she was very kind in saying, hey, there's she doesn't support bullying. She doesn't want anyone to go after this person. Of course, I did my digging. I looked to see if there had, was any type of pending trademark application for that name. And there is one that was filed October 2nd of 2024 by Miss Money. It's a slight deviation in the spelling because she doesn't use an E on her name. This Miss Money has been creating content as early as 2022, so at least uh, two years or almost two years prior to Miss Money, and she creates toddler education videos. And these videos specifically speak to uh, these young children. And I'm going to read a little bit from her trademark application because she hired an attorney, which you have to if you are based out of the United States. A foreign applicant has to hire a U.S. licensed attorney. And she filed her trademark in three classes. Class nine covers things like downloadable mobile applications, uh, any type, anything that's downloadable in nature, whether it's a mobile app, downloadable videos, downloadable audio. She also filed her trademark in class 35. This is a notorious class that's used for like an online shop or retail store services where you're you know, buying and selling, well, selling goods online. And then she filed her trademark in class 41. Now the class 41 trademark is for like entertainment services. So whether you're posting videos or podcasts or anything like that. So her trademark in class 41 covers providing non-downloadable music, um, videos in the field of children's learnings, colors, speech, emotions, numbers, and nursery rhymes. 
So you can see that Miss Money, even though she's an Australian based creator, she has a global audience. I took a look at her YouTube. She has over 143,000 followers. So these women have amassed massive followings. And because they're building these huge platforms, there is a lot on the line. And so naturally, if you have a global audience, the smart thing for you to do is to secure a trademark so you can enforce your rights. And so I saw a couple of, a couple of comments that said, why did they wait so long to enforce their rights? From a legal perspective, I actually don't think they waited long at all because Miss Moni just got started in March of this year. So they let six months go by and maybe they weren't aware of her or maybe she just got so big that she became a threat and they needed to stop her where she was. Now we get to a point where we have two content creators, pretty much the exact same name, just a slight deviation because one has an E and the other one doesn't. They are creating the same type of content, which is these videos that are also targeted to the same type of end users or consumers, which in this case would be preschoolers, toddlers, and their parents. And so when you have so many similarities and we see these questions of, well, how can she ask her to stop? It's because there's a strong inference that there's trademark infringement. Now you might say, well, Attorney Davis, what is trademark infringement? Trademark infringement occurs when either there is confusion or the likelihood of confusion, meaning that people who watch the videos, the children, the parents, or people who are searching for videos could confuse one brand with the other. Put yourself in the shoes of someone who's never heard of Miss Money and someone is saying, hey, your child would love Miss Money's videos. You need to look them up. And that person goes and they have no frame of reference outside of that. And they begin to type the name and maybe the Miss Money that the friend was referring to was one, maybe the U.S. based creator. And then the other person finds the Australian based creator or vice versa. You have a classic case of confusion there. And that is pretty much proof that there's trademark infringement in place. And because Miss Modi from Australia has filed a trademark, she now can enforce legal rights, even though her trademark application has not matured to a registration. And these rights are asking or demanding that Miss Moni stop her use, rebrand, and even take down her videos, which really sucks because that's exactly what Miss Moni has to do. She has or she's been probably, I haven't seen the cease and desist, but I've drafted them enough to know. They said, hey, you have X amount of time to comply. And so now she's having a time frame where she likely has to rebrand and a time frame where she has to delete the video she's already created, re-record them and re-upload them with her new branding. So this can be a huge blow to someone, especially when they're up and coming. I think that Miss Money is going to be just fine. She has a very loyal fan base. This is actually going to probably allow her to blow up even further, which is amazing. Um, and if you want to check her out, it's Money for Kids or Money for Kids, M-O-N-I-E for Kids. I want to hear your thoughts. I want you to sound off in the comments below by sharing your thoughts about whether or not this is trademark infringement. And if you're a repeat viewer, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you don't, I might send you a cease and desist.